Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, you guys, this is part three of this post. Uh hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. Full time reseller. All right, let's get started. Um, so I had so many fantastic bolos that came in when I posted this at my Bolo Buddies Facebook group that I decided to break it into three parts, part one, part two, and part three for this screenshot. Um, the part one has 30 bolos in it. Part two has 30 bolos in it. And this one is going to have, I think, 35, 36, roughly. Um, these are big money, unexpected bolo items. So, uh, you guys are going to love this. You're going to learn so much. And if you didn't watch part one and part two, definitely go and check them out because the knowledge that you're going to gain from these videos, oh my goodness, throw it on while you work and just listen and take it all in because these are items you want to find. Hopefully you can buy them low and sell them high. I have a whole series on this, so check out the playlist and we're going to get started with some big money bolos. So the first one is this, um, he said it's not really a bolo as this is a one off. No one else here will probably ever see it, but auto racing stuff can be valuable if you find it. Vintage 70s local racing, racing legend, Jumping Jack Johnson snapback. I just sold for $50 along with another of his for 30 to the same buyer. Paid about $3 each and a lot at an estate. Okay, so um, I'm not sure why this is considered a one-off. Um, maybe Jack Johnson is just like a harder, maybe harder to find, maybe not as popular of a driver. I don't know. I don't know anything about racing. I do know that I have sold some racing hats for big money. So um, what he's basically educating us on is to look for these types of items when we're out. So here is a picture and I bet those buttons probably have some value as well. The next item um, is a handmade quilted jacket, qu cozy wearable art. Um, if you guys are not subscribed to my Sourcing with Bolo Buddies YouTube channel, I did a short on quilted jackets and how they are trending in a Bolo item. So a short is a 60 second video. And a lot of times over on that channel, I will do like the bolo of the day and I'll just pick something and either something I sold or something I researched and found and do a 60 second video. So definitely go over to my Sourcing with Bolo Buddies YouTube channel. Give me a subscribe and hit that bell uh, so you get alerts when I post new videos, different content over there. So check it out. But anyway, this handmade quilted jacket bought for $4, $225, you guys. So, all right, the next item. Paid $3.25 at a nonprofit thrift store, sold in a week for $90. This is a new bright, the Holiday Express animated train set. So very cool, not heard of that brand. So definitely, definitely look things up, even if you don't know the brand. Paid $2.99 at a Goodwill store, it is, oh my goodness, are you kidding me? Some kind of oil um, sold for $40. I'm just going to let you guys look at the title because I don't know how to say that. I apologize. But very cool bolo. I, I probably would have looked it up just because it's something I've never heard of. Picked up from the Goodwill for $4.99 and sold it for $78.77. Um, I'm going to probably say this wrong too. Lerardo, Lerardo. L-A-R-E-D-O. I know I've heard of it. I know I've said it before, but um, I mess things up all the time. So can't help it. Um, they are Western boots and says flames wingtip. So cowboy boots, cowgirl boots, definitely look them up. Some of those brands are big money. All right. Bought as a last minute bid at my favorite auction place when I lost out on several other lots. It's an hour drive there, so I like to make it worth my wow and will bid on lots that no one else has in the last few minutes. This was in a lot of other things that I got for five bucks, so I paid around a dollar for this jacket. I had absolutely no idea about its value. I ran across it when doing some organizing and thought it would be a good time to list it since it was now fall. Man, 
There was only one sold in the last 90 days and one other listed for three times what I priced mine at. Around midnight, I put it on a seven day auction with a buy it now for 125. It sold nine hours later to someone in New Jersey for the buy it now price. Rare, the impossible project, Polaroid factory jacket. I would have let that auction ride. Those Polaroid, uh, with the Polaroid vintage logo can definitely be big money. Oh, I would have let that ride, but $125 return is fantastic. Uh, paid $10, sold for full price overnight. It is a vintage, sharp, half pint microwave. Have you ever seen a half pint microwave? I have not. This is what it looks like. Huh, 200 bucks, $10 into $200, that is awesome. Found these at the Goodwill for $27, men's size 16, LeBron James, NYC, Big Apple, sample pair. Sold for $450 plus shipping on top. Now, I will tell you one thing about shoes is I'm completely, I would have been like red Nike shoes. <laughs> that would have been, no, I probably would have researched a little. But anyway, these are the Nike Air Zoom Max LeBron James uh, Big Apple Red sample promo. I don't know how to know something as a sample promo, but um, they do have where they go to the eBay company and check them before they get shipped out. So um, they have that guarantee on them. Okay, paid $10 at the Goodwill. They obviously had no idea what they were doing pricing this coat. Listed at $495, knowing that was high. Took a best offer, offer after two weeks added extra shipping to cover the insurance. This is my best flip to date. Sold for $380. Okay, here we go, guys. Oh, Acteric. Oh, I'm just going to spell it. Sorry. A, why do companies have to have such, I mean, like, are all the easy names taken? Like, I don't understand. Okay. A-R-C-T-E-R-Y-X. Fission SV Gore-Tex Insulated Jacket. Okay, so here's a tip, okay, a Bola Buddies tip. Something that I've learned along the way, and I've shared this in a video, but the video didn't do very well, so most of you probably didn't watch it. Um, if you have a first class package, okay, so let's say you have a three ounce package and it's a $75 item, and you're like, it's three ounces, but it's $75, so I'm gonna ship this, I'm gonna make them pay priority mail because I want it to have $100 I want it to be covered, that $75 to be covered. You can connect your eBay to Pirate Ship and it literally, you hit import and it will like import them over. So you don't even have to like put in the address or anything. It's there. And when you print the label, the tracking automatically goes to eBay. So it's literally linked up, you guys. It's fantastic. So let me tell you the, the little tip here, okay? I, what I do, I'm not saying that you should do this. I have not filed a claim through pirate ship. I'm going to be completely upfront about that. I have not had an item get lost yet or damaged. Um, I do have a friend who did have an insurance claim that was um, international and she had no problems getting her money. Um, also, Noelle over on Farm Girl Scavenger, we were talking about this in a chat on another live show and she said that she has filed claims and had no issues um, as long as I was understanding that right. Noelle, if you're watching, can you uh, leave a comment and kind of make sure I'm not uh, speaking out of line? But anyway, okay, so here's the tip. $75 item in a three ounce package. You take that item and you ship it from Pirate Ship and you use Pirate Ship's insurance. You keep it a first class package. So your buyer is only paying first class package price instead of the higher rates for priority mail. I think it's 75 cents to insure that package for $75. I could be wrong. It might be a little higher. Maybe it's 75 cents for a $50 package. But either way, another example of how you can use this. So your, your buyer is going to save money. They're more likely to buy your item because your shipping is cheaper. And then you're paying like a dollar or less for that insurance. Now, I'm not saying Pirate Ship will never change the insurance rates. That's what it currently is somewhere around there, okay? Now, here's another tip. If you have a package that is 
your priority mailbox comes with $100 free shipping, right? I don't know if you guys have went down and went to add insurance, but it's usually like, it's pretty high to add extra insurance on those items. So if you go over to Pirate Ship and ship from there and you add on that additional insurance, it is a lot cheaper. So I don't know if it's just the rates that eBay is getting from that secondary company or if Pirate Ship has just worked out a deal with another company, but the rates for insurance is way cheaper over on Pirate Ship. So that is my tip of the day. I hope it helps someone because it has helped me tremendously. Um, my husband sells a lot of high dollar items that are um, not super high dollar, but you know, over a hundred dollars that are very lightweight. And we have been doing this and I, you know, it's helping out the eBay customer because they're only paying the first class. So, um, and then you just are paying the, the insurance over on pirate ship. So let me know what you think. If you're already doing this, let me know in the comments how it's working for you. Have you ever filed a claim through pirate ship? What was the result? Um, again, my friend, um, Leah, she's, she had an international claim, no problems. Um, so I don't know. I hope I don't have a claim, but if I do, I'll let you guys know, but I'm going to continue using it because so far it's, it's great. I'm saving a lot of money. So, all right, the next item, I just went off on a tangent, but I hope it helps you guys. If not, hopefully you fast forwarded. <laughs> all right. Uh, bought for $3 at a local thrift store. Buyer paid full asking price. Neat fine. Still sealed. It is a vintage 1994 Bell South cordless telephone. And it's new old stock. That's what NOS means. And it sold for $64.95. Speaking of Noel, um, Noel is a Bolo Buddies member. Um, so what that means is she has joined my YouTube channel as a member and um, there's three different tiers. So at the $4.99 level, you get to um, be in a featured members video. And you guys, I know you're all loving that video because it's getting great views because when these people that are members are amazing, they are Bolo Finders. Check out memberships, Bolo Buddies memberships. There's a link down in the description if that's something that interests you guys. You do not have to be a YouTuber to be a member. I can uh, share your eBay store. So check out the featured members video. Noelle, Farm Girl Scavenger, who has an amazing channel that is growing like a weed right now. Um, she just did some collab videos over with uh, Primetime Treasure Hunter and she was featured on his channel and she was dropping knowledge and everybody was like, I am going to go sub to her. I think she's up to 1500 subs. I think she got like 500 or something in a, a week or two. It was amazing. And I could be totally wrong, but she grew super fast. So go check her out. She is a bolo finder. She sells stuff like me. Uh, probably she's probably better than me. Like, honestly, she's amazing. Um, go check her out. Okay, so she says, I bought this at an estate sale on the first day because it was Halloween colors, paid $2. Was surprised to find out a viral TikTok on this cat made the price jump up drastically. Listed for $349.99 at 11 p.m., had four messages for lower offers within five minutes of posting. Sold for full price plus shipping while I was sleeping. Okay, so this is her um, Instagram post and look how fancy it is. She is so good at Instagram. Um, I love looking at her Instagram because she shares all kinds of Bolo knowledge. So you also want to be following Noelle over on Instagram if you guys are on Instagram. That is her hashtag farm girl scavenger. That is her Instagram tag and um, YouTube. So go check her out. Paid $2 for this Bible at a local thrift store. Sold within a month of listing for $45 plus shipping. It is a 1983 Thompson chain reference Bible. Um, Fantastic, right? Um, it's a Bible and Bible will sell you guys. So uh, if you see them, look them up. Some sell for more, even those really old, beautiful vintage and antique Bibles. My husband got an amazing antique Bible, which we're hanging on to, but it is, it's amazing. It's so like delicate, you know, it's just, you can really find some neat stuff outsourcing. Okay. The next one, oh my goodness, I'm having a Jack's Treasures. <laughs> I was going to say Treasures. I, I knew it was Jack's and then I'm like, I hope I'm right. Jack's Treasures. I'm going to pop it up right here. 
um, Bolo Buddies member. I'm getting so many members now that I'm like, ah, trying to keep up with everybody. So they are storage unit finders. Finders? No, not storage unit finders. They are storage unit buyers <laughs> and they are finders of Bolos. How about that? That's fantastic. You guys, they hit the jackpot on some transformers in a storage unit. Oh my goodness. Um, it says, I've been selling transformers for months from a storage unit we bought for $150. These are the leftover parts. I couldn't match with anything, you guys, the leftover parts. So basically, nothing in this. Sold on auction for $204.49 plus shipping. Started it at $9.99. So I'm going to tell you guys right now, some of these parts can go for big money individually. But trying to figure them out, I have a whole tote I'm looking at that is full of Lego Bionicle parts. And um, a lot of them I have sold individually that were already pretty much pieced together and I was able to figure out what it was and find the pieces. But I've got the face mask and I mean, that tote is full of money, but I don't know what to do with it. So it's just sitting there for now until I have time to like use Google Lens or just search through eBay. So it may sit there another 15 years, I don't know. But anyhow, it's sitting there, it's hanging out. Maybe I'll get in the mood one day to do some research, but um, Lego parts for sure. Okay, the next one, I bought this at a fill a box for $10 sale. So I might have 25 cents into it. Sold it for 150 in less than a day. It is a vintage 1980s Carl Lagerfeld, or Lagerfeld, sorry, it's really small writing. Uh, it's perfume. A splash and it sold for $150 and it looks like it's new old stock. Paid a dollar at a yard sale, sold auction style. They needed a lot of work too. New soles, leather, love, etc. So what she's saying is they were beat up and in bad condition and she sold them for $140 on auction. Um, I think it's pronounced Oh, I think I already say this one wrong. Is it Luchise? Luchise? L-U-C-C-H-E-S-E. -E. You guys, I'm just known for not saying things right. So if you're new to the channel, I apologize. Um, they're alligator boots. Alligator hornback square toe cowboy boots. Pretty cool. 140 bucks. Paid less than 10 cents for the for all of them. Sold auction for 84. Found them in the bottom of a junk jar. I picked up at a local thrift store. I was about ready to toss them. Sold for $85. And, you know, I've done that before. I'm like, I'm just going to list it and see. And I'm like, I'm glad I didn't throw it away. So they are a lot of 38 vintage ski skiing lapel pins. Now, I would never throw any type of pin away because there are collectors out there for these pins. I probably would have lauded them up as well. Um, but yeah. Definitely, um, definitely can be some money. I do really well with um, lots of jewelry over on Mercari. So um, I've talked about this in the other videos. I use List Perfectly to cross post. I typically start my items on eBay and then cross post them. And a lot of times those um, lots, those jewelry lots will sell quicker on Mercari. So um, if you want to check out cross posting, I highly recommend it. I use List Perfectly. It's an extension. I can bulk cross post those items fast and it is a time saver, you guys. I have a video if you want to check that out. I show you exactly how I do it. There's also a way to use the catalog and you guys can actually list into their catalog and cross post to all the platforms at the same time. And it will um, give you the option to delist. So I'm manually delisting my items. That's what I choose to do just because I have so many items that I would have to get into the catalog and I just, I'm not ready for that commitment right now. So I love the way I do it. So you can do it however you want. But if you want to try it, you can use coupon referral code Bolo Buddies, all one word, and that's going to get you 30% off your first month. The next one paid a, uh, paid zero, paid zero dollars. Uh, looks like they worked for it. So they had labor, labor, time, time is money. So they did pay for it, but not really. You know what I'm saying? But it sold for $900 in six hours. So, you know. That was worth the labor. Uh, great background story on this. Okay, I like these little stories. It's story time. Um, okay, background story on this rare doll. I haven't looked at it yet. I found a table on Facebook Marketplace for $5. When I went to pick it up, 
it was at a closed antique store that was full and had to be emptied in five days. I offered to work for the week and do an open house sale, made my new friend $800 and saved so many wonderful items from being thrown away. Two rooms were completely filled with vintage toys that were in garbage bags and we had no idea what was in them. The best part, a secret room, a secret room uh, that was nailed shut. Oh my goodness. Um, and we didn't realize it was more items that had been stored untouched for a few decades. Oh my gosh, I want to go to that house. No air conditioning upstairs in the middle of August. I can say I paid for the doll and 250 more items in sweat and luck equity. I love it. That's awesome. Thank you so much, Stephanie, for that uh, story. Okay, you guys. Now, here's what's cool. I, I do remember... I do remember seeing this one now. I just didn't read the whole story. Okay. Um, this is a vintage plush toy and it's B-A-B-Y, baby aliens belonging to you something. Okay. So I just did a video. Um, it's called, what's it called? Top something plush to be on the lookout for. It's a category video. And I'm talking to you about the main big money plush. And maybe it's the top five plush to look for. This gal popped up in my research. I don't know if it was the same one, but the same brand. And I was like, oh my goodness, I've never even heard of this brand. And I literally released the video. And then this popped up in the comments of this thread. And I'm like, no way. So um, there's a second, uh, second, uh, second one that I've seen that's sold for big money. And then she's also got a big comfy couch Molly doll. And those are a good, um, sold for $49.99. It's just on the same screen. That's another decent, uh, one that usually does pretty well. I've heard of it before, so never sold it, but, uh, she said sold in six hours after being posted. I started at $7.89 on auction and a buy it now of $13.45. She said she was offered $900 and she took it unbelievable sale. It feels really good to say I told you so when my family gets tired of hearing about the awesome business. <laughs> I love it. All right, you guys. Um, the next one. Hi, I sold a pair of black sor sorrel, sorrel, I think that's how you sell the brand or say the brand, um, Harlow zip booties for a hundred on Poshmark. They were new with tags and box. I got them at a moving sale about three weeks ago for a dollar. I probably could have listed them a little higher and held on to them a little longer, but I was good at listing them for a hundred and taking full asking price. No offer was made. So hundred bucks on Poshmark. Again, Poshmark, some of the prices that you will get for items, people on Poshmark and Mercari, they hold their money in like a little savings and then they have to deposit it into their bank account. So if that money's just sitting there, you have the option to use your money to buy things. So different eyes, guys, different eyes on your items. Spent a dollar at a yard sale to make easier change. It had some damage. Very pleased with a seven day auction price. It sold for $110.50. It's a San Francisco music box flower cart. And it says you are, or it sings, doesn't sing, you guys, it doesn't sing. It plays, you are my sunshine. So, um, San Francisco Music Box. If you see that brand, definitely look it up. They do range from bread and butter to big money. I was at a yard sale for $4. Sold them within 24 hours of listing. It says, Killer Clowns from Outer Space Mounted Posters. Um, it looks like this sold on Mercari. Again, there's a link down below. If you guys are not using Mercari and you want to sign up, if you use my code, I think you get $10 when you sign up. And then you get another 30, I believe, when you list and sell 100 items. Or not 100 items, $100 worth. So you can list however many items you want. You just have to sell $100 and then they give you like a $30 coupon to shop. And then I get a coupon also. So, um, but Mercari is great. I have a step-by-step -step how to sell on Mercari. If you guys aren't familiar with it, you can check out that video and I walk you through it. It is so easy. And if you're cross-posting from List Perfectly from eBay to Poshmark and Mercari, you can do them both at the same time. It's even easier. So again, 30% off List Perfectly, coupon code Bolo Buddies, all one word. You guys, I am a firm believer in you got to spend money to make money. Just like when you're buying your inventory, 
If you invest in these different things that are gonna help you be more efficient, you're gonna make more money because you're gonna get more things listed and on different platforms. So I understand, I was with you, I was one of those like, I'm not paying extra, I'm just gonna do it myself, it's cheaper. I was that person, so um, I learned the hard way and now I like have, I don't wanna say regrets, but I'm like, man, I wish I would've done this and that sooner, you know? Um, one item that I wish I would've gotten sooner is worth point. Um, it has, it's amazing. Like I have been able to list my items higher because of the research that I'm able to do using WorthPoint. And I have a video on it. It's over on my Sourcing with Bolo Buddies YouTube channel. It looks like this. Um, definitely check that channel out. I have different content over there, but I show you how WorthPoint has already paid off for me. So I'm like a visual person. I wanna see that it's working before I invest in something. So that's why I made the video for you guys to check out. So check out that video. All right, so these are those posters, okay. I'm just gonna show you the one, but they had other screenshots. Okay, this one says paid $5 at a local estate sale, was $10, but went in half off, went on half off day. So got it for five bucks. And it is a Brother ML500 standard electric typewriter with keyboard cover, sold for $125. All right, it says, hey, Courtney, my wife and I love your videos. Oh, thank you so much. Um, here are two bolos to look for. This is her store, Dayton Reseller. These two items are listed and sold in just an hour. The shoes were found at a garage sale. We paid $5 thinking they were Converse. We were upset when we looked better in the box in the car, but listed them anyway. And they sold in less than one hour. The next day we found three calculators, paid 15, and this one sold in less than an hour. Okay, so here are the shoes. And they do kind of, they do look like Converse. I will, I, but I'm looking at a thumbnail that's like this big. You'll see, I'll pop it up. Um, I'll actually make it bigger for you guys. But they are U or Y-U-F-U, Y-U-F-U, like all caps, Max Star. But they are a platform wedge sneaker. Sorry, I gotta shift here. This is my third video. So I'm like, I'm sitting on the floor. These are my jeans that I need to list. I tell you guys that all the time. These are jeans. This is my backdrop. I'm like, I'm not listing them. This is my backdrop. Um, and the calculator, okay, so the shoes sold for $44.99 with free shipping. And they sold really fast, so that's great. And the Texas Instruments um, calculator, which you guys, if you see Texas Instruments, there's usually like a little a letter and number code up at the top that tells you what, um, what's the word I wanna use? Style or brand, not brand, model, what model it is. Um, look that up, it's really easy to look up. Most of those are bread butter to big money. So definitely take a minute to look up any calculators that are especially graphing calculators. Um, okay. So my husband got a bunch of cards from a injustice gods among us arcade game while we were in Atlantic city. He was going to just leave them behind and laughed when I told him I could probably sell them and took them home with us. Well, I've sold most of them now, including this one that sold for $20, one man's trash. So it is a series three Injustice Gods Among Us uh, rare foil team card. Suicide Squad is what it's called. So it's um, a trading card, I guess. Sold for $19.99 plus shipping. First, I have to say, I love your channel. Oh, thank you. Channels. Oh, she watches both. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. Bola Buddies and Sourcing with Bola Buddies. She says, first, I have to say, I love your channels. Been watching for a year now and got my sister and brother to watch you too. Yes, we are all resellers. Okay, my bolo is a Cracker Barrel Glitter Lamp Angel that is 23 inches tall. I paid nothing for it and took a best offer of $100. There it is, you guys. And thank you so much for mentioning that. I really appreciate the feedback more than you know. Okay, um, I bought at a garage sale for two dollars, not knowing what a bolo, it, not, not knowing what a bolo it was. Sold for full asking price of one hundred and seventy-five dollars within a week. Now I know about this one. I can't remember who I learned it from, or if I just learned it from doing research. Definitely a bolo. They're Disney Little Einstein. Um, it's a red rocket ship, and it's got the little figures. You guys, definitely a bolo. Sold for one hundred and seventy-five dollars. 
Um, not a huge bolo. Bought her at the Goodwill bins with a battered case and a few 70s outfits. I paid about $1.50 for everything. I had her listed for $39.95 and took a best offer of $35.95. I did clean her clothes and the doll as she had a musty smell for storage from storage. You guys, what is the best way to get a musty smell out of items? Let me know in the comments if you have like a secret tip. Um, so this is a ballerina Barbie from 1975 with her original outfit and the roses. Wow. Found that at the bins. Lucky find. All right, here we go. Talk about a lucky find. Got it at the bins, paid approximately $4, included a video on the listing, which I think helped the sale. If you guys do not know how to include a video to your eBay listing, I do have a video that shows you how to do that. I highly recommend it. I do it on so many videos. It shows how the item works and it also proves that your item works if there's ever a claim. Um, okay, so these are 300 plus game dice, Dungeon and Dragons, Glitter Speckled, they're dice, you guys. And I hate to say this, but she got $305 for this, which is fantastic. But some of these dice, one dice can go for a lot of money. Um, I don't know if these are vintage or if these are newer. I don't know a lot about dice, but I found four or five in a game box and I listed them on Mercari and um, it was definitely a bolo item. So if you find these weird shaped dice, I'm not even sure what they're called. Um, they're not a square. They're different shapes. They're different colors. A lot of those are dungeon and dragons and they can be big money. So do your research, take the time to look them up. Uh, try to find a Facebook group where you can maybe post some pictures and people will help you because they can be a jackpot. So she sold, I'm guessing a reseller probably bought this lot. When, I mean, I'm like, I don't want to say 100% confident, but I feel pretty confident. But it was an amazing find from the bins. Wow. Okay. This red Czech pioneer woman bought three at the Goodwill for $3. Okay. It, she did not buy a pioneer woman. She bought pioneer woman mugs. Um, I thought I overpaid and then they sat in my death pile for a long time. So she calls it a death pile. I call mine a money pile because that is just money sitting there waiting for me to make. Um, okay, so these are um, oversized mugs and they sold for $121.50. So no, you did not overpay. You did fantastic. That is awesome. Okay, a friend gave me a bunch of stuff because they were moving. So I got it for free. Sold within a week of listing. It is the dream phone game. I've talked about this one before. Um, it's from 1991. It is a board game. It says that it works. They sold it for $55. This is definitely a bolo item. You guys look them up, check comps. Um, I don't know if this is the going rate or if they um, checked comps, but some of those can go for big bucks. By the way, my friend gave it to me so I could sell it. They knew I sold toys online. I wasn't being a jerk and just selling my friend's things. <laughs> I get it. You never want anybody to like judge you wrongly. Okay, paid a dollar at a yard sale, sold in two months. I thought the cover was really cool. Sold for $200. It says Dracula. Urgh. I think it's a book. Yeah, 1927 book. Pretty cool, right? And it looks like it sold on eBay. Okay, paid 99 cents at the Goodwill. Sold within two weeks for $50. It is a vintage Russ Plus, R-U-S-S-P-L-U-S, -S -S, all one word. Shaggy pink bunny, sold for 50 bucks. I love it. Um, okay. This one comes from Franklin Hill Ventures, who is also a Bolo Buddies member, and he does booths in addition to selling on multiple platforms. Um, but he does really well in his booths. So he said, my items are a pair of Mr. Christmas animated Hyde Park Christmas Village department stores. I got both of these at a yard sale for a dollar each. Sold in my antique booth in Clinton, Tennessee called Granny's Attic for $100 each. The first picture shows them in the box the day I bought them and the second shows them displayed in my booth before they sold. So here is um, the picture. 
So you can see like it's lit up, it's in his booth. He's like really showcasing it, which is really a great tip. Um, check him out on YouTube, Franklin Hills Ventures, and um, you can learn more about what he's doing over there. Okay, I bought this at a charity shop called Snow Line for about $6. Took a best offer of $95 and listed it for 120, sold in a couple of hours from listing. Okay, this comes from Bolo Buddies member, Nikki Love Snacks. I hope I said that right. It's right here. I'm getting lots of new channels and all the names, you know, they start to, I'm like, ah, but Nikki Love Snacks. All right, you guys, so check her out over on YouTube. This dress is so cool. It's a vintage Laura Ashley dress, floral print, cottage core, 1980s, women's size 12. And you guys, on vintage clothing, you always want to put the measurements because vintage clothing typically runs smaller. So um, most people buying it know that, but just to help them determine if the item is a good fit, you should definitely put the um, measurements. So check it out there. The next one comes from Bolo Buddies member. Money making mama. I should have took notes. Oh my goodness. Um, okay. So she said these, and she, that's her YouTube name, money making mama. These were being thrown away by a school. They upgraded their equipment, tested them, and they worked. Sold all three in just a few days to one buyer. $129.99 each. Now I will tell you that Christy is a bolo finder at this place called Dirt Cheap. And if you want to know more about it, go check out her channel. It is amazing. Um, I think it's kind of like a Ben's store for like um, palette stuff. But she, if you watch my featured members video, you're going to see some of these items also, but you're going to find more content on her channel. But she bundles stuff up for big profits and she's really good at it. So go check her out. Okay, I paid 25 cents for this book at the Goodwill Bins. It sold in less than a week for full asking price and went overseas. Buyer was all in for about 140. Inventing Reality, the Politics of News Media book, Michael J. Something from 1992. 99.99 plus taxes and shipping. And it went overseas, so there's customs. So that is amazing. All right, you guys, that concludes this video. Again, if you're interested in joining memberships so you can get those shout outs, there's a link down in the description. Um, List Perfectly I talked about, I talked about Mercari, Poshmark, all of those things have discounts and coupon codes, uh, worth point, they're all down in the description. So um, be sure to check out the description of the video. And there's gonna be some other things popping up on both sides. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. Um, if you guys can share this video out, get the word out that I'm sharing bolos and that people can come and share their bolos and have it shared on a video, um, that would be amazing. But check out my Bolo Buddies Facebook group. Come share a bolo. And uh, thank you for being here. Thank you for watching. Leave me an emoji of a hat, any kind of hat. And thanks for watching. Be sure to check out the description of the video. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.